You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather, coverage you can count on. Patrick Wright is in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. Patrick, I know we're expecting a big storm to move in tonight. So what do people need to keep in mind so they can stay safe? Yeah, the big thing will be keeping an eye on our snow levels. They are expected to drop to 1,000 feet tonight for both the Sierra and the Southern Cascades, which means if we have the moisture, we do see the possibility for some snow to fall in cities like Paradise and areas north due to the immediate north of Redding. But looking out towards the Paradise area near Dulcinea, I believe looking towards the Clark Road, it's mainly cloudy right now, but that will be changing as we see some possibility for some snow showers to filter in by tomorrow morning. The other concern we have right now is the wind, not only in the valley, not only in the mountains, but also in the valley of mountains. It's been fairly strong on some of those roads blowing some of the snow around, but in the valley gusts were up to about 40 miles per hour earlier today, and we'll continue to see that throughout the night by this evening gusts up to about 34 in Redding, 26 in Shingletown, but portions of the valley approaching 40. That'll die down tonight, but we'll see a reversal in the direction of the winds. So breezy tomorrow, not as strong, but we will see gusts up to about 25 miles per hour in the valley, and then that'll dissipate as the system moves out by Monday evening. In terms of the wind, though, we do have a wind advisory through midnight tonight. 15 to 25 miles per hour sustained gusts up to 40 miles per hour. So keep an eye on some of those trees as they are fairly waterlogged and they could get blown down rather easily with these higher wind gusts. The other thing we are watching is the snow in the mountains. We have another push of moisture coming in and we are watching the cold air, which will allow our snow levels to drop to 1,000 feet for both the Southern Cascades and the, and the Sierra by tomorrow morning. Now, in terms of the snow, we do see that building in for the mountains overnight tonight, but the big thing we have to watch will be to see if we have some of these shower, the snow showers filter down into the valley and some of the lower elevations as they back build off of the mountains. So, which means we, if we have an appendage like that coming off the mountains near Butte County, we could see some of those elevations around Paradise, 1,500 feet, we're getting some snow showers by tomorrow morning. Now going forward though for snow totals, we could see up to a couple more feet out in the mountains for those higher elevations. But looking at Paradise, this model is suggesting about three inches possible by tomorrow morning. So that is something to keep an eye on as it could it could impact our travel for your morning commute. In terms of our winter weather advisory, we do have one out towards Modoc County for the lower elevations, but we also have a winter storm warning in effect for the Sierra, Cascades, and most of our surrounding mountains for elevations above 1,500 feet because of the snow on the way. We could see some areas getting some light snow and some low snow accumulations around 1,500 feet, but the higher the elevation, the better the chance for, for those higher snow totals ranging from about one to three feet. In terms of the next couple of days, though, we have another very weak system moving in, which with cold air settling into the valley, we could see some of that some snow filtered down to portions of the valley, though that is highly contingent, contingent on the timing with this. And if we can get the colder temperatures matched perfectly with it, we could see some chances of snow out towards the Redding area and the North Valley. But it just depends on whether or not the cold temperatures will stick around for portions of the valley in the overnight hours. In terms of temperatures for tomorrow, highs around the mid 40s. So it will be a little chilly compared to where we've been the last couple of days as it is a colder air mass. But the next seven days, Days, we do begin to dry out towards the end of the week after we get that brief weak system moving through, but it will be cold in the overnight hours as we do have some freeze watches in effect for Monday night into Tuesday and then Wednesday night through Thursday morning as temperatures will be below freezing for some areas in the valley.